Hey, I'm Steve with 360 Yield Center. I'm, I'm one of the engineers that worked on WAVE. We were really excited to launch this project at our summer proving grounds. It's a new product for us. So this 360 WAVE is a starter applicator as well as a pre-closing system or just a new approach to closing. So when we talk about a pre-closing, one of the things we're doing is we're curling some, some moist, loose soil right over top of the seed. So to begin, we've got a firmer up front we want to make sure that that seed is down at the bottom of the trench. So we've got traditional firmer, just like a Keaton, just a little bit shorter. And then as we set a row unit in the ground, pull it forward a little bit. Our blade's coming through behind our opening disc here. And it's actually cutting into the side of that V trench. So it's curling over some moist, loose soil right on top of the seed. It's going to encapsulate it. It's going to protect it from drying out and slotting later in the season. We're also fracturing the sidewall, so it's giving the roots a nice path to go down through the side. So if your sidewalls are a bit compact, kind of slick, we're fracturing that side, giving the roots room to spread out to the side. And the second thing we talk about, we're, we're applying starter. So we've got a liquid tube here down off the side. We're creating a secondary trench. We're laying starter fertilizer, like a 10-34-0, three quarters of an inch to the side, and at seed depth, or just slightly below it. So when those early roots are coming out of the seed, they're gonna find that starter and be able to take advantage of it. One thing that's also the benefit of cutting through the trench, that wave of soil, we're creating a barrier between our seed and our fertilizer. So we can run a higher concentration of like a high phosphate fertilizer, and we don't have to worry about seed burn. Traditionally, if it's an in-furrow, you've got to dilute the, the fertilizer down quite a bit. With this, you can run higher concentration and take better advantage of that phosphates and those fertilizers early on in the season. Some of the features with this, we've got a spring here on our blade. So this, this is our rock joint. It's going to protect. If you hit something big or hit an obstacle, that row unit might go up and over it, but we don't want that to happen again. So this blade is actually on a, on a spring, and as it hits something big, it's not gonna disrupt your seed placement a second time. You also notice that this is, this blade is positioned off to the right side of the seed trench. So on straight lines and left hand turns, it's gonna be on the outside of your, or your radius. It's gonna say, stay seed safe. But on a right hand turn, you might run into some trouble. So what we've done is we've added a, a second joint where this blade is actually able to pivot side to side. And so around a right hand turn, this blade is actually gonna move away from the seed and it's gonna stay seed safe. You're gonna keep your fertilizer out of your trench and your seed placement's not gonna be disrupted. A couple other features. <clears throat> to start, we've got a slant sharp edge on this blade. So it's machined to make sure you cut, you're cutting through even the toughest soils. It'll get through your seed trench and still create that wave, creating that slot for fertilizer. And also, this blade is made of a very, very high wear resistant steel. The same kind of steel as like an excavator bucket or a bulldozer blade. So it's gonna, gonna provide a long wear life in the field. And then we've also added hard face welding down here at the cutting edge. So that's gonna increase your life even more. And if you notice, we only have the hard facing on one side of the blade. That's because the inside, we want the inside to wear just a little bit quicker so that this slant sharp edge is gonna stay throughout the season. This, this hard face is gonna wear a bit longer and you're gonna have a nice sharp knife blade to continue cutting through the soil all season long. So the combination of this abrasion resistant steel and this hard face welding on our blade, we're expecting a long life out of these. We think these can go about 300 acres per row. All right, so here on the front of the blade, what we have is our residue guard. This is gonna fit between your seed tube guard and your opening disc, and this is just kind of floating in there. This is to protect against any residue like some corn stalks or bean stubble from wrapping around the front of your blade. It gives us a nice clean edge for those to slide along and prevent it from catching up on the edge of the blade. We've got the firmer right here. This is similar to some of the other smaller tails you've seen in the market. It just clips in, so you can clip this in and out for a quick change during the field or in between seasons after these wear out. So for our, our spring 2020 year, we're a, this Wave is a beta product for us. We've got a couple models that this is available for. We've got it for the John Deere Max Emerge, and that's, that'll work with or without Bandit. We also have it for the Kinsey 3000, also with or without the 360 Bandit. For the mounting bracket, what we've done is this bolts up to your closing casting. This looks very similar to the stock casting on your John Deere planter, but we've just added a mounting face here so that your wave can bolt to it. Your closing wheels are still gonna bolt to your planter 
right on the sides here with the bushings. If you've got a 360 Bandit, we have a separate bracket that replaces this casting, and that slides on the front of the bracket, and the, the mounting location of, of the wave stays the same. So that was just a quick overview of our new product, the 360 Wave. We're excited to bring this new approach to closing and a starter applicator to your fields.